If you need Madden 21 coins for anything, make sure to go to buymuttcoins.com. Check it out with the link in the description, and my code MMG is 15% off. Patrick Clay! Hey, welcome back, boys. We are 100% moving forward with this as a series. All right, so I read your guys' comments. The consensus was keep the same team and keep adding to it. The way the team resets is by making the playoffs. That's how we're going to do this, okay? So each episode, I can open up to $100 worth of stuff. And yes, that's a lot. I hate giving this money to EA, especially after their servers were down for 14 straight hours when most beard was supposed to drop. But I have to suck up my pride and my ego and, and let this one go because I know this is going to be a banger series. The team right now has insane wide receivers, trash running backs, an amazing quarterback with Gunslinger who just is killing it right now, a solid offensive line, and honestly, a very bad defense. Kermarty is holding this team up. We have no safeties. We have no good linebackers. So honestly, yeah, D-line's pretty bad too. Honestly, though, no, doesn't even matter. We're going to make this work. We almost did last episode, but we got in a good game, but we couldn't squeak it out. I'm thinking of, wait, I'm thinking of ahead of pack and play right we lost right oh yeah that game was awesome but yeah we lost unfortunately all right so most feared is out what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do two of the most feared fantasy bundles one problem that i'm seeing before we hop into this next pack and play episode is there's no most feared running backs right now at least none that are really good there's a 90 adam thielen there's a 90 levante david who are are pretty realistic pulls but i don't know i'd have to get lucky on a random pull to get an awesome running back. It's similar to Wheel of Mutt, but we're resetting if we make the playoffs, not necessarily the Super Bowl. So we're going to see a lot of different teams and a lot of different players in this series. I'm really, really, really excited. And now you guys don't have to see like random pack opening videos. I think it's way more fun when there's some gameplay with it too. So yeah, I get $100 worth, which is 12,000 Madden cash. That's going to be two of these most feared fantasy bundles. And I don't want to spoil anything, but I've been pulling some heat in these. I pulled some heat in Wheel of Mutt, and you're going to see that Wheel of Mutt tomorrow so i hope you guys are excited for that i had to check my calendar to make sure hey starting on the power up player that could mm, no all right nothing to help us here we got a rookie yeah, nah, not gonna help us either sammy watkins and we get a team of the week player harold landry honestly might start at a running back spot that is not the good animation tyson alualu did i say that right <laughs> a mediocre legend deacon jones oh you know what it's actually going to be the best pull in this. And we get Vita Vea. Deacon Jones, a new right end. That's not a bad way to start. All right, on to the next. In total, we have eight of these packs. So we just got to see one huge upgrade out of at least one. No, no. Pat Pete could... Hey, he could go at safety. That's not the good animation either. Oh, okay. Malcolm Butler, though. That's good. David Andrews and... John Lynch, ooh. You know what? I'm gonna see Malcolm Butler a lot more. I don't think I'll see John Lynch again. So we're gonna go John Lynch here. That's a better free safety for sure. This is a most feared welcome pack. Technically, it's a pack, so... Maybe I'll end up using the 81 Palomalu. I don't think so, but it's possible. All right, let's stay hot here. No, no. Ah, ah, the trash animation again. Don't keep doing that to me. Malcolm Butler, the same Deacon Jones and Leonard Floyd. We'll go with the Malcolm Butler. That will be nice to have. Gonna end up having some corners at safety, I think. Nothing here that I can use. Nothing here that I can use. No, are my fantasy packs a wash? Did I make a mistake? We get Joe Burrow who can't help us tony g who can't really help us yeah we're gonna go hunter here i got deacon jones and hunter now so i got solid ends four we're already halfway through i don't want to be greedy though i did pull stafford last time so i i should be grateful for that but i need some new weapons man i need a halfback ryan jensen okay kyle van noy Oh, wait, that's an 87. Damn. All right, so it's only the 90 pluses that get the cool animation. So I'm cool with that. 87, Kyle Van Noy. Chris Jones. Damn. I think I'm going to go Van Noy here, but Chris Jones is a good pull too. 85 plus. Give me the animation. <laughs> no. Get 85 on the dot. L. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Damn it. Bruh. Yeah, Kyle Van Noy again. Dude, am I really gonna go through these and not pull any sauce? Dude, don't do me like this. Michael Brockers, Garrett Bradbury. I'm gonna cry. We get, hey, hey, we get a. <laughs> None of these are helpful. I guess I'll go Eddie Jackson. Ugh. 
Most feared fantasy pack. We'll see what we can do. Odell Beckham Jr., the 84 here on the first round. And Devondre Campbell. Dude, dude, this is my last fantasy pack. I just... Oh, Mark Ingram. No, he's not even better than the bow I have in. I guess he's my backup. Ah! That could have been so much better, dude. That was $100 worth of packs. No, no, no. I have one more. I thought that was the last one. Come on, baby. We can clutch this out right here. No. 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 Damn it. I'm in physical pain. Come on, baby. Come on. No! Ah! I got a Lua Lua again. I get nothing here. That's oh, wait, that's good. That's my starting free safety. Honestly, Kyle Juicy Juice would have been good too because I know I don't have a full bag, but Devin McCourty, that's my starting free safety. All right, now, additionally, I want to have some in-game rewards for us going through this series. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking for every touchdown that we score, we get one additional pack, assuming we win the game. If we lose the game, we don't get shit. But if we win the game and we score three touchdowns, I can go open three more packs in the store. What do you guys think about that? Make sure to let me know in the comments because I don't know, I'm sure there's a much more fun, creative way. You guys are geniuses and have figured out like half the rules of Wheel em Up for me. So let's see what you think on this one. But all, right, all I gotta do is hit best team overall because this account is dedicated to this pack and play team. Did we go up in overall? Was that 82? So now I'm 84. That's not bad. Offensive line is full elites now. I like that. We got some backup wide receivers in Odell and Travis Fulgham, the GOAT. Mark Ingram's in behind Bo Jackson. Stafford, still a stud. Then we got George Kittle, Hunter Henry. That's all right. Defense. I really like to see this Kyle Van Noy. I'm interested in what his stats are. Because I'll end up using... Ah, 82 speed. Okay, he's not insane, but I'm very glad to have him. Deacon Jones and Hunter are big upgrades here, too. We got a full elite defensive line. Devin McCourty, bro. Devin McCourty being here is awesome. I really needed that. And then Palomalu coming in at strong safety. So that free welcome pack for most feared was actually clutch. Even though this Palomalu is not that good. He's got 82 speed. That's not really what I want in a user, but it is what it is. All right, so I'm going to go into this game. And the way we're going to do it is for every touchdown that I score, assuming I... I win we get another pack and if you guys got a better idea please let me know in the comments all right boys nothing monumental we didn't get our generational halfback but we've got a lot to work with and we've got six more wins to make it to the playoffs let's see what we can do here oh you know what i'm gonna do instead forget what i said before about the playoffs my team resets every time i start a new season so if i lose the next three straight games we're resetting the team or if i make it to the super bowl we're resetting the team i think that's a better way to do it I can see the team getting very good, and then it's very difficult to upgrade through packs. So we'll stick with what we got then. It's got to be the weirdest top three you're ever going to see. Outgoing bench. Julio on two. Not a good team. Two bad teams going to just go head to head right now. I like to see that. All right. I'm not I'm not going to abuse this too much, but um, wow. I mean, wow, that's <laughs> I just don't want to send five wide. I do it too often. It's so good, though. Every once in a while with this play, George Kittle is the most open man on the field. Sometimes it does nothing. But let's see if this will be one of those times. No, it's not. But we got a little spike. It's okay, Stafford. I don't know. You got to establish some ground game. Ah, uh, Stafford, no. That guy looped around. Fourth and nine. Let's see it. RB, he's there. Hunter Henry. Fourth down, big play. Weird, weird, weird play, but every once in a while it works. Cut it back. Nope. All right, PA wide drive wheel. Here it is for the touchdown. No, but RB. <laughs> Third and nine. Could Matt Stafford really put this in the end zone? Stafford's gonna step up. Uh-oh, uh-oh, got him! That was electric. Oh my God. That linebacker had every right to pick that off. I don't know why he did. Hopefully this confuses him. Yeah, see, because the animations are... Oh, Bo, did you... Okay. Ah, I'm going to be honest. I did not look like you got it, but I will take my two points. Hey, and that's one touchdown, so we get one additional pack to open right now. First and 10, definitely... Whoa, 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 look at the man deep. Thank God Patrick Wills got to him because he didn't have a man on him. He's going to motion Ridley... All right, we're there, we're there. Oh, damn. Good juke. Oh, no, that playmaker. Ah! No, I knew that was gonna happen. Damn, who is that? He's moving. I don't know who that is. Wait a second. Yo, I might not be faking. This might actually be a Falcons theme team. He's got Michael Vick, Todd Gurley, Chris Lindstrom, Julio Jones, Calvin Ridley. This is a Falcons theme team. A legitimate one, too. Pack and play squad versus the Falcons. All right, I bumped Gonzalez. He's not there. Yup. Why not try it, you know? What do I have to lose? Oh! 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 He 
Look, he got it! All right, this is a tight end screen, a play action tight end screen that lands in the hands of George Kittle. And that's solid right there. Second and two, let's see if Bo can grab this edge. Decent. I don't need the edge. I'll take that right up the middle for eight. Let's see if it's there. Wow. Ah, uh, maybe not. Yep, it is. Quarter rounds are so fucking good. All right, we're gonna go back to the screen pass. I'm gonna slide this into George Kittle. This play is sick. You fucking stupid bitch. What's that shit? I'm going for it. I'm gonna hit George Kittle. Dot. Dot. No. Dude, I'm throwing bullshit right now. That's rage good. I'm throwing absolute bullshit. Here's the seed of the game. Let's go. Two touchdowns, two packs, and a rage good. That's one additional pack. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but yes, if you get someone a rage good, that's a pack. So we're looking at three additional packs here. That's a beauty. Also, just letting you guys know, I did reset the season for this. I realized that I had played a game for a gameplay on the other season progress I had going. So we're starting completely fresh. We're 1 0 right now. Oh, so what packs do we grab? The fantasy packs were not very good. I mean, it's all about getting the limiteds, right? But I don't know. There's a Legends pack, the 50 Fantasy pack, and Most Feared. Let's do one of each. And that's incredible that these are in the store right now because there can be times when we do this and the only thing in the store is like an Elite pack, you know, something really basic. Starting out with the Legends Fantasy pack, one of three. Let's see if our luck turns around. Hopefully we can do some damage here. Eric Flowers. Taylor Rapp, Matt Gay. Starting out with the legend player, Reggie Wayne. Nah, that's not gonna help us right now. We got good wide receivers. Ryan Kelly won't help us either. And a backup, Michael Vick doesn't help us either. Damn, so these guys are just gonna be training fodder. I'm just gonna quick sell all these. Although it's good to note that if we pull a power up, we can power them all the way up pretty much because I'm gonna get a lot of training from this series. Now, if there's a card that I need for the next level, I'm not allowed to do that, but I can power them up as much as training will let me. All right, we got a, the 50 fantasy pack right here. Ooh, Camara. Like I said, we can power him up. So I can power up Camara up until I need his actual base elite. Either we got another 50 player, right? It's probably just a base though. 82 Ladanian Tomlinson. Is that gonna be Ooh. Aaron Donald? Let's go. We got two Ladanian Tomlinsons with Aaron Donald sitting in the middle. Sorry, LT. Gotta give that to Aaron Donald. What a big pull. All right. And finally, most feared fantasy pet. Nothing on the second round. That's a trash most feared. Damn. We got cuts. Oh, heavyweight. Patrick Rick and Tyler Lockett. Oh my God. We got to go Patrick Ricard. Dude, honest to God, I should make this my halfback. He'd be better than that 83 Bo Jackson. Oh, I hate when it does that. We got a fullback. An insane pull, but it is a fullback. Hey, I was throwing fullback screen today. That could have some sauce. All right, let's generate best lineup and get ready for the next episode. All right, Patrick Ricard, still Bo Jackson, which is uh, which is frustrating. I'm not going to lie. And then offensive line, mediocre linebacker, still scaring the shit out of me. No lie. And I'd like better safeties, but we got Aaron Donald now, too. All right, boys. This was a fun episode. Thanks for watching, as always. I'll see you the next time we do one of these. And that's all. Thanks for watching, as always. Peace.